Okay, I'm going to be reviewing um, one of the Lambics that was sent to me by Jens. He sent me about um, three or four altogether. Um, a couple of them I'm just going to leave um, maybe to for like a special occasion because some of them look really posh. But this one is the Girardin Fado. I don't know if that's pronounced right, which comes in at 5%, 1882. Um, I know it's a Lambic. I believe the Faro is the style of Lambic. Um, I don't think they're as intense as like the uh, like your um, Cantillons or anything like that. But let's give it a crack and see what it's like. It's got a caged cork. I've got to be careful with these because I don't have good history with corks. Right. Okay. That's the cage off. <laughs> I'm really worried about these. Here we go. Ah, that's not too bad at all. But the spits need to be really lively. Okay, so let's get this one poured. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the glass. Not as much carbonation as I thought. Um, I had it in the fridge for a couple of hours because I do like my lambics and gurzes, any sort of sour they're like and cold. Colour wise, it's like a sort of murky light brown. Uh, it doesn't look that appealing in the glass. Um, not much of a head. Let's give it a nose. Wow, it doesn't totally doesn't smell what I thought it was gonna smell like. Really malty. Yeah, almost like um pure crushed sort of raisins like you know i don't know like if you got a load of sultanas and raisins and sort of sm mashed them all up into a paste that's the sort of smell you're getting there is a little bit of sourness coming through it's very very slight but mostly sort of um bready dark fruity malts very strange there's even like a very very faint very very faint milk chocolate which is really strange I'm quite looking forward to this one now. <laughs> Let's give this one a go. Yeah, and thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Hmm. That is a strange one. I don't know if I like it. No, I do like it. Is exactly what I'm getting on the nose. As soon as it hits your mouth, dark fruit, sort of medium, low to medium carbonation, medium sort of body to it as well. So it seems to be very light, but there's a medium body to it. You're getting those sort of dark fruits and a nice bit of sweetness as well. Um, and then you're hit with a tiny sort of, well, not really tiny, but you know, sort of below average sourness. Um, which sort of takes over the tongue, gives it a bit of a squash, and then you get um, a slightly acidic aftertaste, which um, which then becomes very clean. There's not, it doesn't linger with some lambics. You know, I mean, you'll taste it and it'll stick around for a good ten minutes. Um, but this one's very very clean on the finish. Hmm, really really easy to drink as well. This is definitely um, a tasty session beer. Definitely a tasty session beer. If you want to try something a bit different. Um, if you're sort of starting out on Gerz's, Lambics, anything like that. Um, and you want you know, you know, want to sort of, sort of dip into the territory. This might be a good little starter because it gives you a slight idea. But it's also a little bit different as well. Um, and really, really tasty. I'll tell you what I am getting. This is going to sound really odd. But I'm getting... Um, an aftertaste of cold beef gravy, <laughs> which is really, really weird. Um, like when you have a roast dinner and it's some, you know, sometimes if it goes a bit cold and you sort of dip your bread in the gravy and you taste it, you sort of get that slightly cold gravy taste, um, which probably sounds pretty unappealing to some people, but I think it's quite nice. But all in all, that's a nice beer. That's going to be gone really, really soon. So, um, Jens, thank you very much for the opportunity. And um, rating wise, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. That's a really nice beer. So, 
8 out of 10 for the um, Godardin Faddo. The gravy beer. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a go. Lovely.